Hi and welcome to RC Cocktail Lab. When I decided to go for the OMP M4, I knew it would be a challenge. I knew it from the beginning because I, until this time, I was flying only machines like this, the M2. And a couple of weeks later, I was buying my first M1. And I was very, I don't know, lazy. I was flying all this with this little sweet transmitter. Very simple. It has on and off switch. It has uh, throttle hold. It has uh, idle up modes. It has stability on off. In my case, it was always off. And rates on highest. I even marked. <laughs> I'm so idiotic that I was even marking the positions of the switches with such yellow points that I could easily check. So I was just opening the box, trans connecting the helicopter different than uh, to the normal, um, uh, normal uh, protocol you do it uh, with the battery and then putting the bind button on the flight controller, switching on the transmitter, what normally you do the other way around and this stuff was bound. So I had only one model in this, um, in this radio transmitter. Uh, if I was flying the uh, M M1 or the M2, when, one, when it was once bound to this transmitter, the whole protocol, all flight modes, everything was ready. I had to just take up and that was maybe for me very, very good because I'm completely, I don't have a smartphone, I'm using a cat. B25, something uh, heavy like a stone, and but works for two weeks with the battery. I don't like smartphones. I don't plan to buy one. I want to live as long as possible without this thing. I don't have GPS. I avoid to have contact with computers. That's why I'm doing this YouTube channel. Uh, irony. And so I was v going a very, very simple way, ready to fly. That's the name of these products and that's true. So I had to change the transmitter. That was the first thing I had to do. And I was going for this one. I didn't like big transmitters. I, I wanted something simple. This is even smaller. You can see it. It's even smaller than the T6 transmitter, but it has a lot of functions, possibilities and programmability, uh, it has HTX and I was really not, not, not going to grips, not getting into grips with this thing and already in this moment I received many offers for help. So I received help from Scott in, uh, in England, um, from Daniel, from uh, James. I had many offers and suddenly came up Matthias with a very concrete idea. He invited me to his house and he spent, he invited me for three days. He's not living very far away from me and I was going there for a, a weekend. He has a room, he had a room where I could sleep and he was doing all the programming for me. I was taking my machines with me and we were having a great time because we were not only doing this programming, I would not have uh, I don't, I would not have uh, been ready for something that is only hard work. So I took my helicopters with me and we were flying. Um, so it was great. I was flying one battery, Matthias was flying one battery. And the wonderful in our friendship is that I could Mathia give Matthias a little bit, at least a little bit back because I have more experience with flying. Matthias was um, sometimes very, uh, he didn't have very much confidence to his uh, possibilities because he had a long break in flying helicopters and he had some crashes and he had some uh, strange thing that he didn't understand by himself. He, he was panicking very fast and then he was really helpless and step by step when we were flying I was giving advices to him so I was thinking about the kind of program exercises we could do. And I was there. 
I was even lying my hand on his back when he was flying. I said, I, I'm, I'm here with you. I, I help you. And I was trying to give as um, calm as possible um, instructions to him. Now, now bring her back, bring her back, bring her back a little bit lower, lower. No, 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 she's going too far away. The wind is drifting, she's drifting in the wind. Take her a little bit back, back, back. And you know, in this way, he was seeing what he was doing and he was seeing, aha, it's possible to bring her back. So it was mainly with the M2, um, because unfortunately, in the very first step in my uh, in my being there, he was crushing his M M1 so bad that it wasn't able to fly anymore. He broke the the frame, he broke the tail boom, and it was because he was using rescue function, something I never used. And I saw this machine was going up, 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 and flying away. And he had um, a stability mode. I'm I'm not flying at all in stability mode. To be honest, I hate. I don't use this word normally. I dislike stability mode because I don't recognize my helicopters. I, I they behave like drones or something. Um, and I was begging him to eliminate this thing from at least for the beginning. So he was flying really without stability. He was flying without the possibility to activate even um, a, 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 some kind of um, uh, safe mode or something in, in, in strange situations. So while we were together flying, he was building up more and more confidence. And um, in the evening, we were sitting on this little beauty. I like her very much now. It was very funny when Matthias was uh, binding with me the helicopter to to the um, to the uh, new transmission with that, and I was picking it up on his grass and in the garden. I was picking it up like uh, that, like this. She was behaving like crazy, although I thought I didn't do any stick movements. And only in this moment I I um, understood that built in in the OMP protocol and in the transmitter or in both both together are some kinds of expo or some things that eliminate the small movements around the stick mid and uh, slow down everything although you are in highest rates uh, it's built in in the OMP protocol and maybe it helped me a lot because uh, maybe for a beginner like I was uh, two years ago I was already mm, 60 years old when I started Maybe it would have been catastrophic if I, if every little move, even a nervous move, would have gone directly to the helicopter. So, but it took me really one or two batteries to get used to the direct movements. So later, I, I even was changing the settings in my M2 and my M1s. So I'm having now very high speed and agility settings in the flight controller. But I knew with the M4. I needed, this was the step to go for the M4, because of course the M4, I, Jonas Wackershauser was telling me this at once, the constructor of this helicopter, it's not possible to fly, to fly the M4 with this kind of transmitter. So I had to go to upgrade my game. And then I built the M4, but it stood on the ground for some time because I was not able to connect all this. The brain, fly ballast uh, system, the free sky um, receiver, um, programming and everything binding it. I, it was really a task for me. And once again, um, between all the other offers of help from um, Hungary, Peter and his daughter Tongzi, um, uh, Scott from England, James from England, um, uh, Roger from Finland, uh, the dealer where I bought these models. Uh, so many people offered me help, but, but uh, the wonderful offer came once again from Matthias, my new friend, whom I teached a little bit flying or gave a little bit more confidence in flying. And Matthias was taking his time. He was not in the country, uh, not uh, close to me, so I could not drive just to him. So Matthias said, no problem, we do it 
via Facebook um, connection. So he was sitting in front of his computer, I was sitting in front of my computer and Matthias took himself so much time. It was, I was uh, maybe not understanding so fast. So it took many, many, many hours on two days until everything was done. But he did it step by step. I have some footage of this wonderful time with him. It's such a gift. I, I want to use this opportunity to say thank you to him for giving me this time. He's my hero. He is my HTX hero. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bound my, even my M1s and M2s with this um, transmitter. So, I give you some footage. Okay. Jetzt den Transmitter an. Transmitter an. Und er ist auf M4. Okay. Hier ist an. Computer ist an. Äh, brauchen wir das Programm? Ja. Brain? Ja, wir machen da weiter, wo wir aufgehört haben. Und das heißt, ich gehe auch mit dem USB in den Brain rein. Genau. Das mache ich am besten am Anfang. Ne? Ja. Okay. Wenn ich jetzt Augen hätte wie ein 20-Jähriger, das wäre auch eine große Hilfe. So muss ich immer mit der Brille hantieren. Okay. Also Brain, Stecker ist drin. Okay. Er leuchtet schon wieder. Da muss ich dich mal reduzieren. So. Okay. Und das Brain-Programm öffnen. Und da hast du dein Akku am Heli eingesteckt. Ah, nee. Einstecken, okay. Ja, check up, ob du Throttle Hold bist und Flight Mode Normal. Flight Mode, ah, okay, ich war auf Einlad One. Ich weiß nicht, wie das passiert ist, aber Throttle Hold ist on. Das Brain-Programm vorher an, aufrufen. Kannst vorher aufrufen oder später, das macht nichts aus. Okay, das macht nichts aus. Okay, Brain-Programm ist auf. Ich stecke den Heli ein. So the story had a happy end. There was a man with a good heart. It was not the only one. Many other people, Daniel, um, uh, James, Scott, Roger, even Jonas Wackershauser himself um, answered to many questions I had and made it possible that I took this wonderful bird up. And today I'm flying every day with her, the transmitter. I'm getting, I'm still, well, not helpless, but I don't know a lot of things, but at least I don't destroy things. So I'm able to adjust throttle curves for different models. Um, and I want to shout out to all these good people in this hobby, this help for these people that are willing to help, that it's fantastic, you're not alone. Uh, so th this was a wonderful um, experience. And most of all, my friend Matthias, um, I'm hoping that he's coming back soon and then I, that I can visit him again to fly again with him because it's also big fun to fly together. So I was landing, he was going up, he was landing, I was going up. So it was great. We, we sometimes even didn't want to take breakfast because we were sometimes going two times a day on the field. So I was never flying so much like with him. And I'm flying a lot. I'm flying almost 16 batteries a day, so I'm really a marathon flyer. Um, so it's great that we found the friendship. We had so much fun. We were talking in the night. So it was not just flying the helicopters. It's like 
in every friendship you you are able to talk for hours and hours we were talking about life about different things we had a lot of fun we were laughing a lot of uh, times so it was not just the heli the heli was the reason why we came together where we met each other um, but the rest was just it's it's a new friendship and that's fantastic um, and I am so happy that I have this this bird. I'm still having a little bit respect. I'm, I'm flying now with 2100 RPM. It's reacting more similar to the uh, M2 and the M1. I know because I had probably a little bit too low head speed and it had some problems to, to pick the machine sometimes up. It's faster uh, in the highest head speed. It's it was a challenge, but it was worth. Uh, every challenge is, is a great thing because you learn something completely new, you didn't know before. And once again, a thanks to all these pilots from different places in the world that were willing to help me, um, that were never nervous when I was calling them. Even Jonas uh, was saying, okay, it's the first set, and the first set you can ask me, but don't come back all the time. Um, and he, he said it in a joking way, but of course I, I will not bother uh, him uh, in the next set when, when there will be some. Um, so it's good that we, we don't find only fun and joy, that we find friends. And uh, that the people in this community are unbelievably helpful. That's something my, I, I didn't find in I'm a musician, I'm an actor. But I didn't find so much helpfulness uh, in, in these areas of life, like in RC hobby. So, I hope you had fun. If you liked my video, give me a like. If you like it very much, you can even subscribe uh, to my cat channel. You can switch on the uh, bells, notification bells, so that you get new stuff. Um, RC hobby, RC <laughs> got the love, sorry. <laughs> I hope to see you again. Stay safe and happy flights.